Hello, I'm going to show you UFC's AP Energize solution for QuickBooks Online. Now this is going to fully automate your account's payable intake process and drastically reduce data entry. Now there are four different ways to provide documents to the software. Emails, scans, faxes, or hot folders, which are also known as watch folders. For this demo, we are going to use hot folders. So all I'm going to do is drag and drop some invoices in and the software will pick it up and process them and eventually we'll export those to QuickBooks Online. Let me just show you these invoices before we do that. They're just normal invoices, a couple different things I want you to notice about the invoices as I show them to you, is that there is no similar design or no similar uh, process into creating them. So, you know, all invoices look different. Um, obviously, the vendors have full control over how their invoices look. Some of them have color, some of them are no color. Some of them have black headers behind some of the, some of the data, um, and some of them do not. So all I'm going to simply do is drag these um, into our hot folder, and you're going to see that the software will pick them up. There they go. And it's going to process them. Now what it's doing in the background is it's comparing these invoices against your, your vendors in QuickBooks Online, and it's going to look for information to help us process these invoices. Now what I'm going to do from here is open our verification station. And you'll see that then. and we now have a task ready. I'm going to hit get task and you see that we have those three invoices that are ready to, to be reviewed. We're going to look through these. Now a couple of different things I need you to notice here is that we know the invoice type. Now there are two different options. One is an invoice and of course we have credit notes as well or credit memos. But this for this one, it's an invoice. We also know the internal business unit, of course the vendor, the invoice data including um, invoice number, invoice dates, and totals, and so importantly, we're able to find line item details. Now, this is right out of the box, right out of the box processing. So, no information, no changes have been made to the software to process these besides just hooking it up to QuickBooks and letting it synchronize there. So, it's able to determine vendor um, and line item information just right out of the box. Moving on to the next one, it's very similar. It's an invoice. We know the internal business unit. Um, we know the vendor and invoice data amounts and of course line item details and we'll look over at the last one and it's very similar as well um, we have the business unit the vendor invoice number which is by the way in black which is often hard for a lot of other ocr softwares to process same with the invoice date it's in this black background um, but it's the software was able to pick that up just fine and we have our total down here at the bottom and so importantly our line item detail once i'm done I'm going to simply close task. Now when I close task, what's going to happen in the background is the software is going to export these to QuickBooks Online. So if we refresh our screen in QuickBooks, we're going to see a couple of our bills are already in the process. Now the software is in process right now, so um, we don't have all the bills yet, but if we refresh our screen, we will see, and there they are, all three of those invoices that we processed were sent through our intake process and fully into the accounting system, QuickBooks Online, without all the manual labor of data entry. So we can take a look at these in QuickBooks Online. Just what I want to point out to you is we're able to determine the vendor, of course, um, the due dates, the bill dates, uh, line item details, and what's very neat is we're able to look at the attachment, that actual bill within QuickBooks itself. So this is a, just a copy of that, that invoice that we received from the vendor. And let's go look at these other two. Here we're able to determine the vendor that we, we received on the invoice. We're able to see that it came through Abby with the amounts and, of course, an attachment. And the last one is very similar as well. And, of course, we have our attachment here, and we're able to see that invoice on the bill. So the very neat part about this process is that I was able to have bills created in QuickBooks Online in a matter of a few minutes versus a long time with data entry, fixing errors because of that data entry, and now my intake process is fully automated. If you would like more information, please contact us.